Linux, our fans know that operating systems older than Windows Vista, such as Windows XP and Windows 2000, require installation of the classic CD drive. However, a huge step forward has been made in regards to the newest operating Microsoft systems that require installation with a DVD drive of high capacity. Here comes the question, why is it like that, or what is the reason? The reason is the size of the installation files of Windows 7, which is approximately 3 gigabytes. Hello, my name is Marco Charlson, and today I will show you how to install Windows 7 successfully on a computer that does not have a DVD drive attached to its USB bootable drive. First you click on Start, you type CMD, and you click on Enter. Now, we type here this path. We click on enter. We type list this. We click on enter. If you know the size of your USB drive, then you will be able to notice it. Because my USB drive is 4 gigabytes, I can notice that it is disk 2. But be cautious, you may not have disk 2 at your computer. Now I will type the command select space disk space 2. I will click on enter. Now I will type the command clean to clean the disk from all the settings and the data current on it. I will click on enter. The USB drive is cleaning itself. It is cleaned. But now we must type the command create partition to create a partition on it. And now we must enter the type of the partition, currently primary. We click on enter. And now we must select it by using the command select space partition space 1. We click on enter. Now we type the command active to make the partition active. We click on enter. Now we type the command named format space fs equals ntfs. We click on enter and our USB drive is getting formatted. It will be finished for several minutes depending on the size of your USB drive. The formatting of our USB bootable drive is almost complete. Now we must type the command assign. We click on enter. We switch to the behind window. And we close it. Now we must type the command exit to exit the this path interface. Now we must minimize command prompt. Click on start. And click on computer. But now we must notice the drive letters of our DVD drive and of our removable disk drive. The drive letter currently of our DVD drive is drive G, while the drive letter of our removable disk drive is H. But be cautious, you may not have the same values as this. Now we will close computer and we will switch back to common prompt. Now we will type the command, the drive letter of our DVD drive, currently G, and the column. We click on enter. Now we type the command CD boot to enter the folder boot on our DVD. And now we type the most important command called boot sect dot axi space of forward slash nt16 space the drive letter of our USB drive, currently H, and the column. I will click on enter. Now we close command prompt. We click on start. On computer. We click our DVD drive by the left side. We click with the left click on files currently on the disk. We right click it. And we click on copy. Now we click on removable disk H. We right click the blank space and we click on paste. 
For more details, let's click on more details. We finished copying all of our data and now we can close the computer window and it is done. Now you have a bootable USB drive which you can use for installing other computers with Windows 7 if they do not suppose a DVD drive by using a USB bootable drive. Everything you need is a single USB drive with a size of minimum 4 GB and if it is empty. Also, you need administrative privileges. That's all you need to create a USB bootable drive. Goodbye!